just left the post office. Yeah. Switched out my shoes. That's what, that's it's, it's, I think I had the last ones for like 1,200 miles or something. Um, I sent that pair home, so I can't, well, to my sister's house. Um, so I'll do a full like comparison review after the trail just because I'm so surprised by how long they lasted and I really loved the waterproof high tops. So I got more waterproof high tops, Ultra Olympus something. I don't know what model exactly, but the Ultra Olympus high tops all weather. And yeah, I'm super stoked about having new shoes. I think it's going to help my knees a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I hope. <laughs> Good morning. Um, we are just leaving Hanover. Made it into the forest a bit, out of town. It was such a nice morning. Coyote and I stayed with Susan, um, my friend that's been following my hiking journeys for quite a few years now. And we've been friends on Instagram. So it's so great to finally meet her in person and stay at her house. and. Uh, yeah, meet her, her husband Mike, and um, it was just really nourishing and relaxing to um, to get that time. So, uh, Coyote and I met up with our friend Leffy, and if you haven't seen um, the videos of when I go through the Smokies, go check that out because that's I met Leffy right before. And actually that's when I met Coyote too, right before I went through the Smokies. And he's the one who gave me a trail name. So it's pretty exciting that we're in a little hiker bubble. Uh, so that should be fun, especially as we come into like the most like challenging section. I'm um, glad to be hiking with others. So um, yeah, what else? I think we have like three days of resupply to get from here to Glencliff and Glencliff is the town. It's like right before the, uh, the whites. <laughs> ah, I can't believe we're like going to be climbing Mount Muslaki in like maybe four days, I think. So that's, that's insane. Um, and so exciting. We're into the last two states. So first full day in New Hampshire and Um, hmm. Yeah, so I iced my knee. I did my stretches this morning. I got new shoes. And I think that hopefully that's going to help my knee a lot. Both my knees, actually. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just like be keeping an eye on those. And yeah, I think I think that's it. It should be should be a nice day. We're trying to go like 16 and a half miles. It's 11. <laughs> so we definitely took our time this morning. I got a little flustered at the post office and like sending my old shoes back. And at first they were like, oh, your shoes aren't here. And then, so it was like 45 minutes at the post office and I got oh, like overwhelmed this morning about it. <laughs> no big deal, feeling lighter, <laughs> feeling excited for this section. So let's get into today. <laughs> oh. Uh, I almost forgot to say, on the hike out of town, um, we met um, a yeah, Nate, the Great. Nate the Great. We met um, um, a follower of of my little AT journey um, in Dartmouth. He was like, "I'm a local," and my wife and I have been watching you. You travel. We thought you were in Connecticut, but <laughs> excited to see you. And he was like, I "Wanted to get us some trail magic and." Sadly, we were heading out into the woods, so we had to turn him down, but it was nice to meet him. So thank you for following along. And this is, this is a little pick of us. So yeah, so yeah, let's get into today. Uh, it can be very dangerous and like, it talks about a couple of stories. Moose Mountain South Peak. Whew. Yay. Bit of wind to blow the bugs away. Snake. Whoa, I didn't see it. It's in the grass. There's Whoa, a snake I... in the grass? <laughs> the snake in my boot. 
there's a snake in my boat. You're That's... getting a really great voiceover. <sighs> okay. We're on the last climb of the day. Almost to camp. But just wanted to capture this moment of all the little flies poking my face, dive bombing my eyes and my nose as I climb this hill. Ooh. And I don't wanna, I need, I'm using my poles to help me climb. And if I put my bug head net on, it's hot and I'm already sweating a ton. So I'm just suffering through the bugs on this climb, which is like, I think like almost a two mile climb. So, oof. Okay, this, this feels ridiculously steep. Okay, I caved, I think like 0.25 away from the top. It was just ridiculously steep. I was too tired to keep waving them off my face. So I put the bug head net on. I made it to the top though. Now it's just like less than a mile down to the, <laughs> to the shelter that we're staying at. So, whew, that was hard. That was a good, good challenging push. Mm. All these flowers are really pretty. Yeah, but it's, I mean, we're having a moment, so you're just gonna have to yeah. keep moving on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. We made it. Yay. Yay. We made it to the shelter. It's only 648, so that's super nice. There's like a big group of college students there, but no one's in the shelter, so that's also really nice. Uh, there's a babbling brook <laughs> right here. So I'm gonna sit and get water. Soak my feet, maybe, unless I start getting attacked by bugs the second I sit down. That's the case. I might go hide in the shelter a little bit more, but the water looks really clear and nice. So I think it's going to be a really nice night. And in case I don't get any clips to dinner, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Oh my goodness.